Okay, can I proceed? Yeah. Okay, so we are focusing on compartment 2. Still the same diagram. The depth is not changing. Volume already we have calculated it. The same volume because we are assuming still the one second. The o DBB is something that we have to find out. So that's not a surprise. So the only thing that will be changing is the flow rate or the J. Okay, since the second um, flow rate was 0 0.18, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? Okay. Yeah, it's 0 0.18. Therefore, J now becomes 0 0.18 meters. So with that, if, okay. Can I proceed to the next slide? Yes, yes. Okay. Right. So we have already got our J. So as usual, trying to find out our DBB. So DBB is that volume, the same volume that we have calculated. So the first one was 0. If I forgot, uh, 0 0.24. Now you just change to 0 0.18. So just if you want to slash it for, uh, just make an indication for this is for the second compartment in your notes in your book if you want. So you will get your DBB to be 0 0.71 meters. So therefore, the distance between buffer in compartment two is 0 0.71 meter. Okay, please tell me if I can change to another slide. Done. Thanks a lot. Okay. So I assume that everyone is okay. It's a repetitive. Okay. So we do the same thing again. The length is the same. So the same formula. But now, instead of uh, just now 0 0.53, if I'm not mistaken. But now, since you have already got a new DBB. So the distance between buffer. So the distance between buffer for compartment 2 is 0 0.71. So you are solving this M. And eventually, you get your M to be 48.5 or 49 meters. So with that, you know that the number of channel in compartment 2 is a bit smaller number. Okay, It's 49. Compared to the previous one was 63. For compartment 1, 63. Compartment 2, 49. Is everyone, is everyone still okay with the lecture? How many yeah. I'm so happy to hear such uh, response or feedback from you guys. So, can I proceed to the last part? The compartment sure. 3. Right, this is a compartment 3. Okay. So now, again, the J will be different. So the flow rate was 0 0.08 if you refer to the questions. So now, definitely, our J will be different now which is 0 0.08. So the same thing, trying to find a distance between buffer, the volume is 0 0.173, 0 0.1736, I think, and the J is 0 0.08, and the depth is still the same, so you will end up your distance between buffer to be 1.59 meters. Therefore, the distance between buffer in compartment 3 now is bigger size, okay? There's a wider spacing which is 1.59 meters. Can I go to the next slide? Okay, okay. Right, okay. Therefore, doing for the last time, to find out the number of channels, okay? So now the distance between buffer has changed again, and it is 1.59 meters. So we solve this equation we will be obtaining a value of M to be 22.9 or 23. Therefore, the number of channels in the compartment, in compartment 3, is 23. Okay, because we have a wider spacing, that means we are going to have less number of channels in compartment 3. Okay, just like the pictures that I show you at the uh, earlier part of this lecture. Okay, with that, we have completed flow collision. And then, that's all, unless you have questions. Okay, no questions? No, no, no. Okay.